Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is from Monday, the 6th of June. Hey, June in Alabama, you know what that means? Let's see, it's going to be hot and humid, and somebody somewhere will probably see a thunderstorm this afternoon. Will it work out? Yeah, it usually does this time of the year. Let's take a look at some of the Skycam images around the network early this morning. First off, coming from Fayette. Getting awfully close to the summer solstice here, just a few weeks away. That is the day with the largest amount of daylight of the whole year. And we do note some evidence of daylight at the ridiculous hour of 4.58 this morning. Here's the uh, view of the Tennessee River as seen from the Skycam in Decatur in Morgan County. And way down south, that's the Skycam on the Alabama Gulf Coast to Gulf Shores from the Phoenix All Suites. If you're beachbound for the next several days, weather down there looks fine. As always, there's always some risk of a storm popping up briefly, but uh, widespread rain not expected. Look at the highs yesterday. Yeah, it's hot. Uh, a lot of upper 90s around here. And uh, if you're looking for cool weather, we suggest the northeast states, New England. Nice and cool up there. The highs were in the 70s yesterday. And way out west on the Pacific coast and also up north in Canada. But obviously between now and uh, the end of August, it's just going to be hot that time of the year. And the other thing that happens, the... Uh, Westerly shift north, the severe weather risk shifts north in terms of the really organized stuff. Got a severe thunderstorm watch this morning for parts of the uh, upper Midwest, but around here, obviously nothing is happening. There's the convective outlook for the rest of today and tonight. Slight risks way up north, one for the Great Lakes, one over much of Montana. And we've got the famous sea risk or sea text areas to find down here. And that, that's for the pulse type afternoon storms. And this is wet microburst season. That's the main issue. Uh, localized areas of damaging straight line wind with these pop up storms. Had one uh, downburst down in uh, uh, Monroe County at the community of Uriah yesterday. But guess what else it is? It's hurricane season. Yeah, we're into June, and uh, there's the situation this morning. The guys at NHC have defined a 40% chance of development for parts of the Central Caribbean this morning. We'll check the modeling on that, and uh, models are all over the board. Looks like an octopus or something there. Uh, and obviously, the steering current's very light, and just a slow northward drift is likely for the next 48 hours. It's not going to go anywhere in a hurry. And really, the, the model with any remote impact for the southeast would be this one, the GFDL. This is at uh, five days, uh, June 10th, and it's got the thing at... Uh, there's a tropical storm, uh, a weak one at that, about uh, 39 knots, 43, 44 miles per hour coming up toward the uh, uh, Appalachian Bay area of Florida. And, of course, the uh, wet side would be over the Florida Peninsula. So just be aware if by chance you've got a trip maybe to uh, Tampa Bay or Orlando, there might be an, it might be an enhanced risk of rain uh, maybe late this week or over the weekend, but that's very iffy at this point and there's certainly nothing to worry about. But we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, the the you know core of the season comes later in August, September, and early October. But er, we can see early season systems. And traditionally, if you do have those, the main issue is just rain. All right, this is the OZGFS at 1 o'clock this afternoon, valid at 500 millibars. And the 588 ridge covers much of the uh, nation, uh, the central part of the nation, and, of course, the deep south. Got a big trough out west and also troughing over uh, the North Atlantic, but obviously with a look like that, the weather's not going to change a whole lot today. Uh, high should be in the upper 90s, uh, mostly in the 96 to 99 degree range. And as always, you, you know, you might see a storm popping up somewhere, but the chance is so small, I don't think you need to mention that. Pretty much the same deal tomorrow. In fact, the heights are actually going up. Uh, highs, upper 90s are likely. And down below that, uh, model suggesting if we do see scattered storms, the better chance will be way down south near the Gulf Coast. And again, even there, it's just scattered. Wednesday, 588 heat bubble right over us. Not much change there. Thursday, looks like a little weakness in that upper high nearby. So just maybe that would open the door for 
A little better chance of a pop-up afternoon shower or storm. Heat levels backing down just a little bit with uh, mid-90s. And pretty much the same thing on Friday. And, and understand, you know, that this is the summer season and every day there's the risk of a pop-up storm and nobody knows where they form. I wrote an article in the blog about that if you're new to Alabama or the Deep South. It's very frustrating. Every day there's a chance of rain, but the storms are very scattered and we just don't know where they will initiate very well until they actually get on radar. Chance of any one spot getting wet in the 20 and 30 percent range. Saturday, starting off the weekend, we got the uh, flat ridge in place here. Upper high down over the uh, Gulf Coast or over the Gulf of Mexico, and down below that again, no change. Uh, Mid 90s. Storm should be very widely scattered. Same thing on Sunday. And a week from today, uh, the, the ridge axis does want to move a little west. We got a, a light northerly flow aloft, a little impulse coming down around uh, Nashville. And just maybe that would open up, up, uh, open up the door for some northwest flow storms coming in from the northwest that might affect the state in the week. But again, that's kind of iffy. We'll jump out there toward the end of the forecast. June 21st, we've still got a ridge all across the uh, southern states. The westerlies are up on the Canadian border. Winds aloft are light and variable and looks kind of moist and muggy and uh, some risk of uh, a few scattered showers out there, but nothing really extraordinary. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.